Welcome back on the channel. In the last video I've shown you how you can install Silly Tavern and Cobalt CPP by hand. And this time I want to show you another way to do it. So um, as we have already Git installed on the computer or you can install it um, from the Git web page, then we can clone here the Silly Tavern launcher. And uh, that's what I want to show today. It's um, a launcher that can do a lot of things regarding Silly Tavern. Um, first of all, we need to clone this repository here. And uh, as I've um, shown before, I've got Git on the system here. And so this is uh, my um, AI machine because I have a little bit more power on that machine. It's uh, Windows 11 that I'm locked in here remotely with VNC. And when we now start the installer first, we can install Silly Tavern here and he will get Silly Tavern then automatically from the repositories. So I don't want to create here the shortcuts as I've got them already and I don't want to start a Silly Tavern at the moment. So and after you've used this installer bot, um, he got Silly Tavern here in the subfolder. And uh, then we can now use the launcher bat file to start the launcher itself. And here we've got a lot of options. So you can update and start Silly Tavern from here or start Silly Tavern. But you also got options um, to install additional tools. Uh, and that's what I wanted to show. So we've got Silly Tavern now installed and uh, could, insta uh, could start it at the moment. But we also wanted to install Cobalt. And uh, they've got here an installer for Cobalt. So if you go into the app installers, here are the different options. So Cobalt is text completion. And if we go now into the text completion section, we've got here um, uh, UberBuga. It's another um, yeah, server that can run. Um, then we have Cobalt and um, we have Tabby. Uh, Tabby is good for running EXL2 um, versions. So I use Cobalt for these um, GGUF uh, files that I'm using with quantization. And uh, then you just select here your um, GPU type and he will get the correct version and we can start uh, Cobalt here from that. So, and uh, that's another quick way how you can get the files without looking them up um, on your own and installing them on your own. You can all have here from the launcher. And um, yeah, then uh, what else? So if you uh, look here into the core utilities, you can get some other tools that you perhaps need for your um, Uh, yeah, playing around with this AE topics. You have here the different um, voice uh, RPs that are available and also here the image generation RPs. I personally use uh, ConfiUI for that, but uh, of course there are different ones here. And uh, also this all is very good um, documented in the wiki and uh, that's all I wanted to show um, today. So if we now start uh, Cobalt here, you can even start it from uh, the launcher um, or do it by hand then. Uh, Cobalt will be in a subfolder um, like uh, Silly Tavern then um, when installed with the launcher. What else? Yeah, um, then update and start Silly Tavern and the launcher uh, will be kept open in the background. And uh, then you're good to go and uh, you're running with your system in another installation way here and uh, give it a try. Both versions, um, the manual installation or this uh, installation with the launcher work very well and you will have your local AI um, set up and running quickly. So thanks for watching and uh, yeah, see the next AI video on this channel. So um, bye.